Hi, I'm Yvonne. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if you've been on my channel before, thank you so much for coming back. I just have to quickly say, I'm so sorry I've been gone for maybe a year or almost a year. The year just flew by. I just, I don't know what happened. Just adjusting to life um, with my four little ones, being home a little bit more. But I'm back. Happy New Year. I plan to be on this platform a little bit more because I want to be here more consistently because I really do love this platform and I want to grow here. So please bear with me. <laughs> I'm going to start by, um, I want to show you all, um, do an unboxing with you. Unboxing of one item that I've been wanting forever. I wanted it as my last push present, but as you can see from the title, um, what this is the brand Hermes a Birkin I've been wanting one forever like some people and um as you know getting your hands on one is very difficult I have a relationship with an SA but that's a sales associate at an Hermes store and I've made some purchases but I would like to make more so I can eventually get an offer but the truth is I do not most of the clothes I see, they're like a size six, a size four, a size eight. Those are not my sizes. I like some pieces, but I cannot get, those things just will not fit me. I'm not there. And then the shoes also, I'm trying, I want to get the shoes, but um, like the boots, for example, the calf area, I have a friend who got one and she had to return it and her calves are much smaller than mine. So I thought, you know what, those just definitely will not work for me. There are just some items I just don't want to buy for buying sake, just so I'm able to be offered a bag. I would like a bag, but I want to buy really what I love. I'm a bag person. Some people are clothes people, some are shoes people. I'm a bag person. <laughs> so um, having this bag in my collection, as you can see from the title, it's an Hermes Birkin. Um, having this bag in my collection is something that I, I've been wanting just because I feel like if you are a bag girl, it's one of the bags that you should definitely add to your collection. Maybe not have a lot of them if you don't want to have a lot, but at least one, you know, a few or one, if you're able to, of course. Before I um, show you the bag, I wanted to tell you, I also was in London a few months ago and I was hoping to make it to Paris um, with the train and try to get a leather appointment. The leather appointment is another way that you can almost always secure some type of bag from their store, the Hermes store in Paris. And what you do is you go on a website and you fill out your information with your passport and they want one passport per entry. So um, I was able to use my husband's and a friend of mine at the time was also using hers. She had mentioned she would. So just to try and get an appointment, but I was not lucky to get an appointment. I was only in London for a few days, so I did not make it to Paris. I had said I would only go there if um, I was able to secure an appointment, a leather appointment, and also do a one or two things over there. But I didn't, so I ended up just spending more time in London. So in the meantime, I decided to look on the pre-loved market. I, I personally would only buy from Fashion File as far as Hermes because Fashion File, one, they'll let you return it. So if you get it, you want to get it personally authenticated again, you can do that and if you don't like it or you don't like how what it looks like you don't like um i don't know if it's not what you thought it would be or if you get it authenticated and you're not happy with it you can return it they do have a return policy unlike some other pre-loved um marketplaces some do not have a return you cannot return an item like a birkin so I'll just go ahead and jump into the item. I already unboxed it and snuck. I tried to look in there, but um, I'm going to show you. Let me grab it. So it came in this box. Just making sure my address is not listed anywhere here. <laughs> so it came in this box. As you can see, I already opened it, but I'll show it to you again. This is how the box it says on it. And it came in the fashion. 
trash unfiled dust bag like so and this is this is the bag what do you think so it has attached to it it has the certificate of authenticity and it says the hermes epson birkin 35 rose Jaipur. and it says it comes with dust bag raincoat clochette lock and two keys so this is what it looks like i think it's a beautiful bag and i am actually very happy with the bag but i have to say that i share the same sentiments as another youtuber i watched her video a few weeks back and she mentioned that she just maybe the bag is just so overhyped that you just i don't know sometimes you're a little bit underwhelmed it's a beautiful bag and i love it but i just feel like this is what they make you wait for months and years and spend thousands and thousands of dollars just to get your hands on one i'm actually very happy i went the pre-loved route because <laughs> um i got to pay a lot less than what the price would be if i was buying this new i wouldn't mind the new one at some point but this would work for me especially because i uh, i tend to baby some bags but i don't i want to be able to travel with this and you know not baby too much so the fact that it's not like in perfect condition actually works for me so it looks good this is how it looks in the bottom you have the it has the feet is that what you all call it <laughs> and then the edges what you can see is there's a little bit of discoloration around the edges but that is the only thing i see on this bag everything else looks really good it was described as being in good condition on the website and i will tell you how else it was described so this is the hermes epsom birkin 35 rose like i mentioned and the details the year is from 2016 this size this oh I meant to tell you, this is the size 35, and I'm actually very happy with this size. I thought it would be huge, but I am almost 5'9", 5'8", 5'9", and the size works great for me. For my size, I don't think it's too big. The It says the base length is 13.75 inches, height 10.25, width 7 inches, drop 4.5 inches. And I already mentioned it, what it comes with, their certificate of authenticity, dust bag, raincoat, clochette, lock, and two keys, which I was very happy that it has all that. And this is from 2016. So I'm going to go ahead and try to open it up for you so you can see. I have never opened this bag before, so this is my first time opening it with you. What do you think? I think it's a beautiful bag. I really do think so. I love it. Here it has it in gold. Hermes. Made, Hermes Paris made in France. I wanted, I'm open to some silver, 
hardware but for my first one I really wanted I looked for the gold hardware I tend to wear gold more so I really wanted a gold hardware bag so this is it came with the tag fashion filed certificate of authenticity you cannot remove this if you plan on returning the bag and it says this is the Hermes Epson Epsom Birkin 35 Rose Jipur comes with dust bag raincoat clochette lock and two keys I love that it came with all that because a lot of times um, you on the website you see some did not have the clochette some did not have the lock or the keys or you know especially the, the original dust bag so let me show you more of the bag when you open it this is how it's it's in really good condition so this is it described it as good but I really think it's in great condition and this is the original dust bag and the interior is in such great shape it has a zipper pocket right here and a non zipper pocket right here and that's all it really has what I would say is that I noticed a few scratches in the gold hardware right here just a few and on the edges a, some a little bit of wear showing like discoloration on the edges it has what do they call this feet <laughs> in the bottom I don't mind the little bit of wear it just means that I won't get to baby the bag as much already because it's already there so this is the bag I'll stand with it so you can see this is a 35 I am 5859 I think the size is actually very good for me it's not too big I thought initially it would be too big but it's actually not too big it's really a good size and if you're smaller, I think you can get away with the size too, especially if you have a lot to put in there. So what do you think? I absolutely love it. I love it. But I have to say, I share the same sentiment as another YouTuber. I watched her video and she was saying that maybe it's just because the bags, these bags are so hyped up that you just, you. I don't want to say you get underwhelmed when you receive the bags, but you're just like okay it's a it's a beautiful bag it's a great bag you know it's a Birkin yes but I mean it's not something that I would I should lose sleep over I should be upset about not getting I should be spending thousands and thousands of dollars just to get the bag you know I, I actually really like that I got this pre-loved I'm happy with that and I might get another one pre-loved because it's in really good condition and you pay a lot less for it and definitely the pre-spend is you're not spending all that just to be able to get the bag but then you have the beautiful bag in your collection and it's um it's a great leather piece i wanted to show you a few more shots of the bag more up close like so and this is how it opens up, how wide it is. The leather tabs are in great condition. One thing I noticed about it is I feel like right here is a little folded in, a little bent in a bit. I do think that stuffing it will help to keep its shape. So when I store it, I'll probably keep Keep it stuffed just so it keeps the shape. I feel like if it's kind of folded um, without anything inside, it can kind of tend to lose that shape, as you can see. I did buy this, a bag insert from Amazon. It came like this. And it's funny because this color was actually the less expensive color. I could not decide which color. I just wanted a color that would get here the soonest. You know, some colors, there was a black, a tan, white, this um, pinkish color, and others. And this color was getting here the soonest. And it was actually the price, I think it was on sale. I'll link this insert. 
it actually has been worked out really great so it came like this and you just let me put the bag down i'll show you and you just kind of put it in the middle like a divider it has velcro right here so it kind of sticks to it and gives it a great the velcro is on both sides and gives it like a great point so the insert it does not fall off and then the insert has several pockets on the inside and on the outside and a zipper like a gold color zipper So this, I got this size. I will link the size. I don't remember for a 35, but it was pretty clear that this would fit a 35. So this is what I got. And this is the bag. So I will just insert it. So it fits perfectly. And this is how it looks now. So I still see a little bit of the crease right here. I will take the dust bag it came in or one of the dust bags. I have two, one from Fashion File and the Hermes one. And I will still stuff it in there just so I have the dust bag somewhere, just so it keeps the shape. Overall, I really do like it. I do think that yes, it's overhyped and I I think it's overhyped and I think it's worth it, but I don't think it's worth spending so much just to get it or, you know, being upset or if you can get it pre-loved, go that route. If you can get it from the store, great. It's all the same. <laughs> Another thing that I plan um, on getting is to actually get some fun scarves twillies from hermes and put it around the handles just to give it another um a personal touch and i feel like it adds something to it personality to the bag but i am waiting to travel when i travel i'm waiting to get one in person so i can pick look through the different um fabrics what they have in store i'd like to see it in person before i get that we don't have a local store, so when I do travel, I plan on getting that. So I'll need some help with how to tie that around it. Anyway, so this is the bag. Let me know if you have any questions or what your thoughts are, the color of the bag and all that. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you are enjoying the content. Thanks. Bye.